Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to be giving you my full review of this new toner from Olay Henriksen. This is the Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner. This is a product that was sent to me for free by Influencer for review. Influencer is a community that I joined probably a year, maybe a year and a half ago, um, mostly because I was interested in receiving free product for review. As anybody who has a YouTube channel knows, it is expensive to keep up with all of the new releases, so it's nice whenever you get sent a product to try. I will leave my referral link to Influencer in the description box below if you are interested in joining the community. Anyhow, you clicked on this video because you want to know what this toner is all about, and I certainly have some thoughts on this. I received an email from Influencer around mid-December saying this new toner is going to be launching, everything has to be kept hush-hush, don't post about it, don't tell anybody until the 26th of December. And I was like, oh dang, I get early release for a product, I get to try it, test it out, post a review, and hopefully people will be interested in hearing all about it. I think this happened even before December the 26th. There were a bunch of influencers who had already received these, so folks like Patrick Starr, uh, Nicole Polizzi, or Snooki from Jersey Shore. I also noticed that she did a huge like Instagram campaign about this particular toner, and several other individuals as well. Um, they all started doing skincare routines, saying how they've been using this for months, and it's just made such a difference in their skin. And I just sat back skeptically watching all of this happen because the thing that bothers me is that I don't I don't know if everybody actually uses these products for as long as they say they do and the one thing I really do value about my reviews and the way I test out skincare products is that I really give them a fair shot. I use these products anywhere from six to eight weeks before I post a full and final review. I try to make it as comprehensive as possible. I also try to make it as entertaining as possible uh, but sometimes you do have to dive in to the nitty gritty about a particular product. Now I have heard really great things about this particular toner. A lot of people seem to have had a really great experience. A lot of the reviews that I've seen for this particular toner have been done by people who don't necessarily have a lot of pigmentation, a lot of dark spots, who don't have problem with textured skin, um, who don't have acne scarring, all of that good stuff. They just use this toner and say it works like a miracle. Um, that's not to say they don't have other issues or this toner can't be used for multiple purposes but that's just something that I pay attention to. So I'm going to be upfront with you guys and let you know about the different skincare concerns that I have. If you've seen any of my videos you guys know that I have oily skin. I do have enlarged pores especially around this area. I do deal with acne, acne scarring. I have mild rosacea in this area as well and in some cases I do have a dehydrated skin skin and I also deal with quite a bit of texture on my skin and as of I think the last couple of years I've also been noticing a lot of fine lines kind of creeping up so that's another concern that I am dealing with. I don't typically have a lot of dark spots or a lot of really deep pigmentation on my skin but I do have the acne scarring that I deal with so I always look for a really good AHA to help with exfoliation. So that's a little bit about me. Now I want to take a quick second to talk about what AHAs are. This is a term that I feel is used quite a bit with skincare and not a lot of people really understand what it actually is. And I am not a dermatologist, I am not a doctor, I do not have a science degree. I just like to read a lot and educate myself about skincare because there's a lot of stuff out there that is really, really aggressive and you don't always need aggressive skincare to see incredible result. But AHAs are alpha hydroxy acids. So this is something that you will find in a lot of products that claim to be exfoliating. I did make several notes about 
what I want to talk about today. So if you see me glancing down, that's why. And I do have a definition for AHAs. So essentially they work by melting the intercellular glue that holds our skin cells together. And this helps the skin's natural shedding process. So essentially what AHAs do is they scrub your skin so they help all of the cells break apart and wipe off a lot faster or shed a lot more quickly than their natural cycle will allow them to. By doing so, this can definitely help with resurfacing your skin. It can help with any bumps or textures you might have. This is why AHAs also claim to help with any fine lines, any scarring that you might have on your skin. AHAs can certainly be helpful with getting rid of those. Typically people who have acne or have dealt with any type of acne in the past do have more enlarged pores. The large pores do tend to produce a lot of oils so that's why including an AHA in your skincare routine can be quite helpful because they can help shrink some of those pores. Having said all of that and now knowing that AHAs help shed a layer of skin it is super important to only use AHAs at night. Some people can be adventurous and use them during the day especially if you're not going to be outdoors a lot but you do become more susceptible to burning. So if you are going to be going outdoors in any capacity, always make sure you put sunscreen on your face after you use AHAs. It is so critical because you do not want to cause any sun damage to your very new skin that is now coming to the surface. Now that we've gotten all of that background information about AHAs out of the way, let's talk about the Ole Henriksen Glow 2O Toner. This toner claims that it targets dark spots, fine lines and wrinkles, skin texture, and it has a high potency of AHAs. Looking at Sephora's website, it does say that this toner is good for all skin types, so anybody who has normal, dry, combination, or oily skin. It is described as a lightweight liquid, duh, it is a toner, um, and it's got a bunch of different ingredients in here, and that is something that I dug into a little bit. If you look at the ingredient list on the the box and that's why I decided to keep the packaging the first ingredient listed is water that's pretty typical in a lot of toners the second ingredient is glycolic acid the third is witch hazel which I actually appreciate because I like a toner that can help soothe my very inflamed skin it's one of the reasons why I use this um, this serum here from Dr. Jard it helps soothe some of the redness on my skin there's lactic acid which is the the fourth ingredient listed. As you scroll a little bit further down, there is a fragrance in this. So if you don't want to smell anything out of your toner, this may not be something you want to pick up. Although I wouldn't describe the fragrance as being obtrusive or obnoxious. It's not floral. It is more citrus in scent. I'd say it kind of smells like lemonade. As you continue to scroll down the ingredients, there's also glycerin in this formula, there's chamomile, lemon, licorice, sugarcane, sandalwood, there's tocopherol, which is known to be an antioxidant, it also goes by the name vitamin E, <laughs> and there is citrus. Going back to Sephora's website, it does say that this has a high potency of AHAs, which is true. Glycolic acid was right at the top of ingredients, as was lactic acid those are your AHAs and they work to help even your skin tone texture and help reduce the appearance of dark spots, fine lines and wrinkles. You've got your witch hazel in there as well which is known to be a natural astringent to help brighten and refine skin. Witch hazel can also help calm and soothe skin and they also highlight the following ingredients. So lemon, sugar cane, the licorice root, chamomile and sandalwood extracts and it lists those ingredients as helping to soothe and condition your skin. I have been using it for a solid six weeks now and I feel like I have a good handle on this particular toner. For me, I would only use this toner in the evenings. So essentially after I take off all of my makeup, after I cleanse my skin, I begin using this. So I will crack it open. It is a squeezy tube. I would go ahead and as I get this all over me, 
<laughs> put some toner on a cotton pad and then I would just begin in circular motions applying this all over my skin. For any spots that I felt needed a little bit of extra help I would actually just sit and press the toner into those areas. So for me that was all along my cheek area over here as well as over here. I tried to avoid too much of my under eye area here and I did try to keep it a little more on the lower part of my cheek which is where a lot of my scarring is. On my nose I did like to hold it down quite a bit because I do have enlarged pores and of course the general circular motions just happened all over my face. This toner did not burn, it did not leave my skin red, it had a very pleasant fragrance to it which I actually ended up enjoying and I liked the way it left my skin. My skin felt very clean, very refreshed after I would apply it. I had no issues putting on my serum after. So basically I would use this toner, I would then use my Dr. Jart serum. After that I would use my Tatcha Luminous Deep Hydration Firming Serum so that would go next and after that I would use whatever moisturizer I had on hand. For the last little while I've been using my Tatcha Water Cream. I recently ran out of my Drunk Elephant Proteiny which is the moisturizer I've been using for the last couple of months. Those are the steps that I would take with my skincare and that's how I would incorporate this toner into it. Over the six weeks I did not notice any dramatic results. I'm just being entirely honest with you. I did not have an epiphany. My skin did not magically clear up. Things did not really change a heck of a lot for me. What I did notice was that my skin did feel a little bit brighter. So with the texture of my skin I think it did help with some of the bumps that I would typically see on my skin around this area over here and it, like I said it just felt a little more brighter. Did I have a lot of dark spots that this helped make go away? No. So I don't think I can really speak about that. I didn't see a huge difference with a lot of the acne scarring that I have. It's still all there but then again I don't expect a toner to really just fix all of my acne scarring. I do have other skincare items that I think do a much better job of that. With my fine lines this did nothing. My fine lines are still there. I didn't feel like it plumped anything. This it just did nothing for them. What I did appreciate though is how it really did help prep my skin for all of the additional serums that I was going to put on. So these two serums in particular once I used this toner absorbed really really beautifully into my skin and then I was able to go in with my moisturizer and everything just laid down so nicely. So that's definitely something I really enjoyed. Having talked about some of the positives that being the brightness and the way it prepped my skin for serums, there is a bit of a downside, at least for me, and I mentioned all the skincare concerns that I have, but for me in particular, this toner broke me out. I wasn't doing anything different in my skincare routine and that's typically what I do when I start incorporating a new items in there. I like to keep everything the exact same and only use products that I know my skin enjoys. I do remember in December I was using this moisturizer as well as the Proteini which my skin loves and of course these two serums here which I've been using for a really long time and I know they are not going to cause any issues. The only new thing I introduced to my skincare was this toner. I did notice in particular for the month of January how much I was breaking out. Oh my goodness. Now I did have quite a bit of acne that was popping up around my hormonal belt down here which again could be hormone related but I haven't had acne like that come up in a really really long time. I was also noticing a lot of acne popping up on my forehead which I haven't seen since grade school and I was even seeing quite a bit of white heads along this area as well as my nose and on my upper lip which I I found really really strange. So as soon as I noticed all of this acne coming up I actually put a pause on using this toner and the minute I did that I noticed all of the acne disappearing. So of course it takes some time for the bumps to go away but I did notice that I wasn't getting any new acne popping up and all of the bumps that I did have were going away. So I thought oh my gosh it's this toner that's making me break out. 
So I decided to stop using it every single day, which is something that Sephora's website and the box says that you can do because it claims to be gentle enough. But if you're somebody like me who does have sensitive skin, deals with acne, blah, 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 you may want to use this maybe every other day or only a couple of times a week. Skincare is really personal and what works for me or what doesn't work for me may or may not work for you. For me, this video is just to share my experience with this particular toner with you, not to necessarily bash it or sing all of its praises, but just to give you an honest review of how I felt about this product. At the end of the day, if you were to ask me, would I purchase this toner myself? I'm gonna say no. <laughs> if Ole Henriksen wants to send it over to me again, sure, I will gladly accept it and gift it to a friend or family member, but I personally wouldn't invest my money in it just because it doesn't do enough for me to spend the 30 some odd dollars on this. I will probably use a little bit more of this toner just to make sure that I am right about my hunch and that it is this that's breaking me out. But for selfish reasons, I also like the way this brightens up my skin. I think that is a really nice benefit and I also like the way it preps my skin for my serum so for those reasons I'm going to use it a little bit longer if something does change drastically for me I will update you on Instagram so do make sure you follow me on Instagram for that and that's gonna do it that is my review of the Ole Henriksen Glow 2 Dark Spot Toner do let me know in the comment section if you have had a chance chance to try out this toner or if influencer ended up sending you this toner for review or let me know what other skincare you enjoy using as an AHA for your skin to help with the exfoliation. I always love hearing from you guys. I should also say if you're not already a part of my makeup family make sure you hit that subscribe button <laughs> so you can join my little corner in YouTube land and if you are already subscribed thank you so much for being here with me. If you want to keep up with me outside of YouTube you can always follow me on all of my social media channels and I will be sure to link all of those for you in the description box below. Thank you again so much for watching. I really hope you are having an amazing day no matter where you are in the world. Stay beautiful and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!